So here is our new coaster which is 10 by 10 and 2 cm deep. I'll show you today how to make a shaker coaster out of this mold. So here I'm adding a thin layer of resin of any color choice that you want, spreading it all around so there is no empty space left. Here I'm adding some flowers and you can select whatever color choice you want and arrange according to what pleases your eyes. Here I'm adding very thin layer of resin to embed all the flowers inside. Make sure your bottom layer is not very thick so that you have enough space for your shaker. Rearrange your flowers if anything might have shifted and let it cure for 24 hours. So a coaster mold comes with a filler which will help you to build your shaker. Taking that filler and adding some latex rubber at the edges and spreading it evenly on the sides and to the center. So you can bond the filler to the cured resin. Make sure the alignment is correct and the space is equally distributed from all the edges. Press this filler down and leave it for 15 to 20 minutes for it to cure. Post your cure time, just check the filler is stuck to the resin and then you can pour your resin make sure you do not fill any excess resin and it's only up till the height of your filler nothing more than that once you have top up your resin i am here adding some crystals you can add any embellishment that you would like Once you're done, let your resin cure for 24 hours. Once your resin is cured, we're going to remove the filler. And look how easy it is to remove your filler out. And voila, you have a cavity now to make your shaker coaster. And it's very easy to rub off any excess latex stuck to your resin now. Once you have removed all the excess latex, now I'm going to sand the edges just a bit so, so my frame is ready for the shaker. Once your frame is ready, you can add any embellishment that you want. Depending on the weight and size of your embellishment, it depends how they're going to move inside the liquid. Avoid adding any fine glitter in the shaker as it tends to get stuck to the wall of the shaker. Once you have added all the embellishment, taking a plastic film and an easy to erase marker, I'm going to trace the outline of my cavity. Make sure you leave a quarter to inch just outside of your cavity size and cut it with a scissor. Once you have the piece of your plastic film, now we're gonna check the size if it fits exactly on top of the cavity and nothing smaller or very large. Once you're sure that you have the correct size, we're gonna rub off any markings with the rubbing alcohol from the sheet or any dust particles can be removed in this process. Now with the help of a pin, I'm going to rupture the plastic film. Make sure the hole that you're going to create with the pin is going to be at any edges, nothing in the center. Make sure you can pass the needle bottle through from the hole that you have created so it's easier for you to fill the shaker liquid inside. Now using the UV resin, I'm going to put it to the edges of the cavity so this is going to be used as the adhere to the plastic film and the resin. Make sure you apply a generous amount with the help of a stick on all the edges. While doing this step make sure there is no dripping inside the cavity or on the glitter that you have added. Once this step is done, we're going to take a plastic film 
and make sure the hole is at the bottom. Be gentle when you're going to place your plastic film onto the resin. Holding from the edges, you're going to place it on the resin. When you're placing your plastic, make sure you're careful that you do not touch any UV resin and then put any marks on the plastic film. With the help of the stick, I'm going to press all the edges down so my plastic is stuck to the UV resin and there's no air bubble inside. Now we're gonna let the UV resin cure with the help of the UV lamp. Make sure you keep the UV lamp for a couple of minutes and ensure everything is fully cured. With the help of a pin, not a sharp pin though, I'm gonna check all the edges are secured and there's no loose ends. Once you ensure that all is secured, you can use this coaster as it is without adding any liquid just as a dry shaker for the next step to add the shaker liquid we're going to check where the hole is you can add distilled water glycerin mixed with distilled water or the baby oil as a shaker liquid here i'm going to be using the baby oil i have added the baby oil in the little bottles to avoid any dripping of the baby oil hold the coaster in 90 degree and then put the needle inside Make sure you release the pressure of the bottle when you're pouring your baby oil into the cavity. Once you have poured your baby oil, make sure you leave a tiny pocket of air inside. I'll tell you why. I'm going to use a rubbing alcohol and a cotton pad to clean off any excess dripping that I had on the plastic or around the resin. The reason I've asked you to leave the air pocket inside is when you're giving a clean with the rubbing alcohol because of pressure generated on top of the coaster, there's no spillage of oil coming out. Give a final clean to your plastic film where you have ruptured it. Here I have elevated the coaster from one side just to align the air pocket and the hole. With the help of the UV resin, now we're going to close the opening that we had it and let it cure. Ta -da! And it looks so beautiful as it is, but we need to finish our top coat here. Make sure your UV resin is stuck and the opening is closed now so we do not have any leakage later. Now, before adding a final layer of resin, we're going to give a final clean with our rubbing alcohol and cotton pad. So there's no moisture, no oil leakage. Once you pour your top coat, there might be a trapped air bubble underneath the film. So with the help of a pin, you can just gently press the bubble and try to get everything outside. So there is no air pocket underneath your plastic film. This will require a little patience, but it's worth doing this step. Once all your trap bubbles are out, let the resin cure for 24 hours. So are you guys ready for the reveal? It's time to demold the coaster. So here it goes. Look how pretty it's looking with all the flowers. Look at the shine of this coaster mold. It's so beautiful. Just to show you the size of it, I've kept it with glass. So it's not very small, it's not very big, a perfect size I can say. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Please do like this video, it's one of my first videos so there will be some errors so apologies for that. I hope you like this video and thank you.